We're going to Dublin! Yeah! We've arrived in Dublin. Um, it's really late, it's like 25 past. You just brought me up. <laughs> yeah. It's 25 past 11. Um, so I think we're going to go to bed quite soon and then we'll have like our proper days tomorrow. But I thought I'd just do a quick room tour because it's quite nice here. It's really cute, isn't it? So this is the room. So in here is the bathroom. I haven't actually seen the bathroom yet. Um, it's cute. I'm, what's this? Oh, oh my. TV and desk set up, um, this cute little bed, a little tea and coffee station, nice curtains and then here, because it's Harry's birthday, um, they've left us some frizzy, frizzante, so uh, sparkling white wine and some chocolates, so that's really lovely of them. Oh and this nice image of a little cow. So that is the hotel room. See you in the morning vlog. Why are you walking away from, what are you? <sighs> okay. So, good morning from Dublin. We are just leaving the hotel now. We're gonna have basically all day in the city. I'll try and show the castle later when we get back because they've lit it up for Christmas still. Like, I don't know why the Christmas decorations are still up, but they are. Hello, Chris Is there a cat? <gasps> I'm scared. Oh, he's scared. Hello. Hi. Oh. So yes, anyway, um, going into the city centre for an explore. So this is the general post office in Dublin, which was the rebel stronghold during the Easter 1916 uprising. The post office has a museum inside now, which explores this moment of Irish history and is dedicated to the Irish heroes. We learn how the white of the Irish flag symbolises a truce between the green Irish Catholics and the orange Irish Protestants, which as Harry says, That's really quite powerful actually. I really couldn't have put it better myself. Just taking a stroll by the River Liffey. I learnt that that was its name about seven seconds ago. Um, and I think we're just gonna like sort of wander around now. We went to the post office, that was really interesting. Yep. Learned some kind of Irish history and about the Easter 19, uh, 1960, Easter 19, you, you, you could, you Easter 1916 um, rebellion. Just, <laughs> And we've got the Guinness tour later, but just going to have a little look around for now. But it's very lovely, it's beautiful weather as well. See? Really nice blue skies. Me 
again, here's how to pull the perfect point. Take a clean glass, put it 45 degrees, turn on the tap. As it fills up, slowly straighten the glass. Once it gets to three quarters full, stop pouring and then push away so that you fill it with beer but none of the foam. Once that's done, put it forward and then you have to leave it just to settle and then it's ready. have one sock. Anyway. Oh. My wisdom teeth is fucking killing me as well. I don't care. Ooh. You're hard showing off. I'm tired. Bye. Oh, there's a car. I always get really embarrassed if there's a car. Hello. It is. Oh, I feel like I just felt rain. It's Saturday morning, so it's our last full day. I think we're going to go to Trinity College um, and some of the sites and things around there, which will be nice. It's really raining. We decided that an umbrella was a shrewd purchase. So we got matching his and hers umbrellas. Ah! So pretty. We're just walking around the um, university grounds. It's so nice. I feel like if I'd come to this university, I would have written a best-selling novel by now. So I blame it entirely on, on that. What did you say? I might be happy. Harry said and he'd be happy, so... I mean, I'd be happy if I had a best-selling novel. We'd be frequenting trips all the time. Because we wouldn't have made it, that's why I said that was the joke. He said he'd be happy because we wouldn't have met each other. No way that's getting in. It is, because everyone's going to see how horrible you are. Hm. Now I'm going this way, bye. I don't think there will ever be a trip away with Harry that does not involve sport of some kind. Just what happened to walk past the pitch? Wrong. This was entirely on purpose. painting is Monetception, that's a Monet, but it's actually not a Monet, it's like an homage to Monet in another painting.
We're in St. Stephen's Green. It is very wet, which makes it actually quite romantic with a capital R, not a, like a lowercase. Ooh, someone did literature at university. <laughs> Are you having the best birthday ever? Who's fictitious? So who is this? Hi! <laughs> so I'm going to have to tell the story. I might not do it justice because Harry told me the story. Um, but basically, that statue... There she is! Hello! Uh, it's Molly Malone, who is a fictional character featuring in Irish music. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. I think basically Harry walked off, so I'm just going to explain the story now. Basically, Molly Malone was a fictional, or is a fictional character, but like the song Molly Malone, I think, is sort of like a kind of unofficial Irish anthem, Dublin anthem, and basically she was a fishmonger by day, and then she was rumoured to be a prostitute by night. She features like quite a lot of sort of Irish and Dublin folklore. But what's fun about this statue and the reason why her boobs in the statue are a different colour is because so many tourists touched her boobs that basically they came off. They either fell off or they got massively disfigured or discoloured or something and basically they had to be replaced. So her boobs are real. Um, that, no, they're not. They are a replacement and that was the story I wanted Harry to tell. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I dropped the phone. Back in the hotel room now. I'm in my Bambi pajamas. Because I am six years old. I don't know when I last saw you really. Um we went on a walk around the park. Was that maybe the last time? I don't know. Then we went Temple. to Temple Bar area. Is that when we went to that pub? Hmm. Oh, we went back to a pub we went to yesterday. The Mucky Duck? Mucky Duck? Wild Duck. Wild Duck. Went there for drinks and they had the football on Soccer Saturday, which was good. Saints were 2-1 up to Leicester. Leicester equalised. It went to VAR. Once again, VAR went in our favour. And the game finished 2-1 to us, which was a great result away from home at Leicester, considering we did not do very well when we played them earlier in the season. Leicester City have nine! We also saw in that pub, Joffrey. The actor who played Joffrey in Game of Thrones. I spied him. We had eye contact and I was like, Harry? that's Joffrey. Harry was unconvinced but then he was like oh shit no you're right and I was like yeah. After that we went to Nando's and then after that we went to another different bar. Um, this is the deadest <laughs> roundup of a vlog I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I think I'm selling it. I honestly I think There's people... There's no one left watching I can say what I like, because yeah, no one will be watching this. It's my face again. There's been a lot of just my face this trip, really. We've checked out of the hotel, and we're just going to go to a little like pub restaurant that we saw that looked quite nice, try and grab a Sunday lunch, and then go to the airport. We just had food. It's like a, it was a carvery type thing. Never had a carvery before, which, is that quite shocking? Um, I had vegetarian lasagna, which was super yummy, like really good. And Harry had roast beef, and it was good. We're on the plane. Oh my god. We're on the plane home. <laughs> 